Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus unboxing video on a Saturday, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, as always, I'd like to turn this into a bit of a guessing game um, and see if we can identify the character and probably the toy, to be honest. But um, as always, I, and I suppose one of the main purposes for me to start this channel was exactly reasons like this. Um, I was struggling to find some information on different variants and things like that um fred's workshop is amazing there's a lot on tf wiki and stuff but i think by doing this and by speaking to other collectors in the field um, i've been able to expand my knowledge exponentially as well with regards to variants um, and other things and that's exactly i suppose what a lot of collectors do like to do so inside this box we've got a generation one figure it's loose um it's but it's one of the first releases of this particular figure and the reason why it's one of the first releases is for a reason i'm going to show you um on it so uh i suppose clues it's really hard not to give this particular figure away to be fair because it's quite easy so it was one of the original 1984 figures it um yeah it was a tri it was another figure before it was a transformer so that means uh, obviously that it was diclone or I can't think of the exact name. So, you know, Micro Man, Micro Change, Diaclone, um, something else maybe with this. Uh, the figure itself, um, the mould got used quite a few. No, it didn't. The mould was then sort of retooled a couple of times, um, even during G1. And then the figure itself, the character itself, as bad as it sounds, wherever there's one, you can almost pretty much guarantee you'll get the other with a very, very little little change to it a lot of the time sometimes especially nowadays it's even lazy they'll just change the color whereas at least before there was a slight difference to you to the figure so i think you're pretty much guessing who it is already the character itself from my knowledge and what i've seen doesn't seem to have too much luck either he didn't last very long in transformers prime he didn't do very well in the bumblebee movie so the character himself bless him doesn't tend to do too well there has been numerous 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 re-releases um, down the generations line of this particular figure um, and this is an upgrade to be honest um, this is a much much better version because um, I have to do the, the hand on the head emoji as well because when I saw this and when I brought it I was like yes um, it's amazing and it's in really good condition uh, but then I checked my one on my shelf and it's, it is the same version so I'm going to be popping the other one up however I'm pretty sure that you're going to guess who the character is so because it's 84, it's pre-rub. Uh, so that means there's no rub sign on it. It's just got the normal logo. And I'm pretty sure you guess the character. It is Cliff Jumper. And the reason why this is a first edition and the reason why I know this is first edition is because thanks to the people like Tim Banerjee. Um, do you know what? I've just forgotten his name. Oh, I feel really bad, but he's got the Facebook mini book, mini bots group. Um, they've all helped me loads and loads as well. But the reason why this is a first edition is if you see the stamp, See, it's just a circle Takara stamp. So these are the exactly that. So pretty much direct from the micro change, or I can't think what the micro cars, the penny races, whatever they first were called. When they came in them little boxes, they all came with the circle stamps on them. But obviously this is the Transformer because he's got that on and it's got a different sticker on the back. So yeah, there you go. It was Cliff Jumper, and I'll do a, de a detailed video, as I say, explaining the differences between the stamps. But I know that people like like that sort of thing on here so that's what i like to share again as much information as i've got with you guys with this so if you've got any mini bots with circle stamps you've got first editions let me know in the comments guys take care